Alright. Hello everybody. I am Sky Bunny and welcome back to Pokemon Legends. Legends, 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 Legends. Legends. Alright, so we are heading to Where's my thing? We are heading to take out this boss, which is the last one, I think. So let's go! Let's go! I'm gonna have to fly a little higher, aren't I? Yes. A thing for Avalog, which I'm guessing Avalog is an evolution of Obama Snow. No, no, no. Avalog is the the weird thing, the icicle thing. Oh, my phone's ringing. It's been a while since that's happened. Obtained a piece of eternal ice. Oh, yep. Wah! Oh, wait. That dude. At last, the summit is conquered! And I see you made it too! Flew down to this place and obtained the eternal ice, did ya? What drives that burning zeal of yours, I wonder? I don't really know. No one? I do have respect for the effort you put in. I may still have my doubts weighing on my mind, but I'll make the necessary preparations. So you can face my Lord Avalug. Meet me at Ice Peak Arena. I've been there a lot. Now don't try to repeat the wondrous feat you're about to see me perform. A tall leap like this can only be managed by highly toned bodies. Are you gonna jump? Till we meet next. Are you gonna jump off the... Uh-huh. Yep, that happened. Yep. That surely did happen. Well, these bosses just keep getting harder and harder, so I'm excited! Yay! What are you doing here? Why, well, if it isn't Sarah! What a pleasure finding a familiar face or any face in this far corner of the Alabaster Islands. You knew I was coming here. I came to bring Garrick an order of sword caps, and he was more than willing to have a chat about Avalog. What do you say? Interested in a bit of gossip? No. Oh, have some mercy. Can't you see I'm dying to tell you what I learned? Well, I'll tell you anyway. No one respects me. So, Avdug, yeah? The fifth of his Swedes and Nobles? That he is, and you know what? He's an absolute beast. Well, yeah, according to what I was told, not only does he barrage you with chunks of ice, he also fires off massive icicles, and he can cause sharp ice crystals to erupt in the ground below you. Sounds like fun. Doesn't that seem a bit too powerful to take on? What's more, apparently the Avalog of all could be up to a hundred feet tall! Doesn't that seem a bit too big to take on? Lady, I took on a Pokemon that rained bombs on me. Oh, you'll be alright. You just have to eat some sword caps and give your trade your all. Nothing better for building muscle than that. Onward now to the arena. 
Oh, I don't want to see the Avalok, but perhaps not the cost of my life. So, I suppose my freezing digits and I will be off. Coward. <laughs> Coward. Whoa! Hello, Mr. Poopsicle. This is bothering me. Here we go. Mr. Poopsicle. So we to quill Avalog as you wished. In the end, the strength of your feelings won out. Well, maybe your real strength comes from the way you walk among both people and Pokemon. Well, I suppose I better get what work make it some bulbs using that eternal ice. I've heard how they're made, and with muscles like mine, it'll be only a moment's work. I don't think muscles and cooking really have anything to do, but I guess ice. Ice balls. And there you have it. If you truly wish to quell Avalog, then walk on. The path lies before you. But know that Avalog will hurl chunks of ice at you without a lit. You'll need unraveled dodging ability. I'm going. Dip, dip, duck, dive, dodge, dodge. Dip, duck, wait, dodge, dip, duck, dive, and dodge. Holy monkeys! I'm taking screenshots for my thumbnails. Well, you know what they say, the bigger it is, the easier it is to hit. Naruhodo. This is going to be a, a patience game, isn't it? Oh shit! I hope... I hope you can beat it up. I think you're fine. Go, Deku! you! Hehe, <laughs> you cannot stop the power of my Deku. Speed shot! It's not too bad. Go, oh, Deku. Murder me. Yeah. 
I got you. Ooh, we're dual, we're double in, huh? Shoot, 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 shoot. Crap! Those ones I gotta get better at dodging. Yes, 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 I know that already. I don't know what continue battle means. Like from where you left off? That's lame. You should redo the whole battle. Listen to the sound, you can kind of hear it. That Pokeball went really far. being impatient. I feel like I'm just throwing Deku off a cliff. I did it, 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 I did it,
I keep trying to get a shot of her when she's right about to throw the Pokeball, and I always mess it up. Garrick, sir, you needn't look so quite downcast. But, but seeing my Avalon quilled by such a slight child. A child that fell from the very sky. Is it the sword girl some kind of monster in disguise? She is no monster. She's the one who risked her life without a second thought in order to quell our frenzied suffering nobles. Well, actually I was ordered to, but yeah. Sora. Garrett cares for the Pearl Clan with all his heart and believes in Almighty Sinnoh just as deeply. So he has feared more than any of us that getting involved with the Diamond Clan and your galaxy team could cause our people to flag. Not my galaxy team. In their devotion to Almighty Sinnoh. But that will change. Irida? I know your fears will change once you see what I've seen. Sora has much to teach us. She's shown us how we can overcome all manner of strife so long as our Pokemon are with us. She's made me want to help Glaceon realize greater strength as well, and to see my whole world grow broader. Yeah, girl. It seems you've changed, Irida. Yeah, I knew you could pull that off, Sora. You quilled every last frenzy noble. So is that space-time rift gonna start closing up now or what? I don't know. There's no way of knowing for sure. Though the rift does seem perhaps a little smaller somehow. Well, let's hope so anyway. Does it really? Well, with any luck, things will settle down now. Although even if the rift does start spitting out more of the strange lightning, we should still be right along as we got Sora. Indeed, we should be. It's good to have her at her side. You know something, Irida? We may never agree on who, who's got it right about Almighty Sinnoh, but you both all clan aren't bad in my book. No, don't take my Irida from me. She's mine. Look who's finally seen reason. Anyway, now that we've called the last noble, I say we pay old grim old Commander Kamado a visit and see if he'll finally crack a smile for us. No, he's just gonna tell me that nobody trusts me and everyone hates me. Here you go. Yeah, I don't know. To be perfectly honest. Alright, well, let's head back. Oh, there's a new quest here. Oh. Sky Balloon Race?
I get lower? Good, we got 30. Ooh, new one. Okay, let's go back. Back to more insults. Fantastic as always. I'm sure the commander is eagerly awaiting your report to the village. Ah uh, yes, my report. All right, we are done with this new area. Oh. Alright, time to get insulted and eat potato mochi! Two of my favorite things in the world! Yeah, I love being insulted by people I work really hard for. Nah, nah, nah. We're just using the galaxy team. <clears throat> each of the Pokemon nobles became frenzied and now each of them has been quelled. We still have no explanation for why this calamity befell us, but I am glad to see it put to an end. And to think peace would be restored to Hisui by the hand of our mysterious Riftborn helper. When tomorrow dawns, it will dawn on a world restored to normalcy. At long last, we will be able to return to our normal lives. Go nourish yourself with the wallflower and along yourself a good long rest. Don't forget the survey works corp is not over. It does not end until our people can live here in Isui without fearing the Pokemon around us. Well, that's not something I can do. People need to be not scared of things. You put a different something on. Thanks for the nice, sizable, healthy cup potato mochi, Betty old chum. Am I the only one? Am I the only one? Oh, and if there's anything else that you'd recommend, by all means, bring it out. Yes, new food. Now that Avalog's quelled too, we can survey all over his suite. I certainly had my reservations as to whether Avalog needed quelling. But if it means bringing calm to everyone, then I suppose we did the right thing. I don't know either. I hate to think what kind of havoc that frenzy novel caused could have wreaked if Sora never came to us. Still, even with all the nobles quelled, the rift doesn't seem to be closing, huh? Although, wait, if the rift were to disappear, would that mean Sora would be stuck here?
Well, our little team is certainly very practiced at investigating things by now. We'll look into the matter and find a solution, I've no doubt. And even if you don't, you always have a home here in Jubilife Village, Sora. Yeah, sorry you got taken away from your friends or family. Maybe you had a boyfriend, whatever. Who cares? You're welcome here. Now then, tomorrow's suit upon us and it'll be another hard day at work for the survey corps. Don't forget what we set our sights on. Nothing less than a completed Pokedex. With you around, the Pokedex is as good as complete. Hey, how about I just take along as your assistant? Assistant? Come now, Ray. Don't sell yourself short. You're full-fledged member of the Survey Corps. Well, sure, I guess I am. In any case, time for a hearty meal and heavy sleep. Poor Ray. Go no back there. Bagoom! I kind of figured something was going to happen. Disaster. All right. Well, with that cliffhanger, we are going to end that episode there, and I will see you later. Jenny. Thank you.